Hi everybody, it's Shane with Oddball Cards. This is part two on Mail Day. I had initially, in the last video, thought I was opening my Gourmet Patreon subscription box, but it turned out to be some auction cards, so I went ahead and posted that video. This one is the Gourmet Patreon box, plus a random pack that was either part of an auction giveaway, a members giveaway, or a Gourmet giveaway during one of the breaks, so. Let's dig into Gourmet subscription box. I am a welterweight uh, subscriber. This one is wonderful. His family is involved in some of the breaks, and this is a one of one that became part of my package. It does look like uh, some of my auction cards might be mixed in, so I will try to delineate those for you all. What do we have here? Jock Peterson. Huh. Patreon numbered auto, huh? Each of the tiers has a, a chance for a bonus card. And it appears that my name came up in the as a benefit. Uh, so Jock Peterson and then an autograph. Rob, huh? Oh, won't even try to butcher that name. He knows I'm a Dodgers fan. Very nice. Perhaps a coincidence, but all right, and let's dig in. The Patreon packs vary from tier to tier. I choose to support Gore not just with this video, but month to month. I like to support my local card store, and Gore is essentially my online local card store. I was spending a lot of money at uh, the Targets, the Walmarts, and I won't say I don't spend any money there, but I would. Uh, I do prefer to support a small business versus a bigger one. So today we have a 2019 Topps Chrome, 2019 Big League, 2017 Series 2. Haven't opened a lot of that. I'm not sure what we're looking for in that. Don Russ, 2017. Very nice. Haven't opened much of that. 2019 Update, 2018 Series 1. And then some junk wax. Uh, and I'm not as familiar with that. I started collecting, oh, let's see, maybe May of last year. Series 2 might not have even come out of 2019. Well, let's start opening these. There are quite a few rookies in this set. Not some of the bigger names from 2018. They came out later in the year, but... A lot of value and some cool inserts. Iwakuma. Scooter Jeanette. Nice to have a cool nickname like Scooter. League leader Zach Davies. Sandy Koufax, uh, 35th anniversary. Replica. Cool looking card. I haven't seen this one before. Opening day, Cody Bellinger. J.D. Martinez, before he went to the Red Sox, league leader card, Kluber, yeah, this is a cool looking photo, oh, it's the Nationals team card, very nice, these are upside down, flip those, Grichuk, and Ian Kensler, nice looking cards, nothing too spectacular, I'm gonna save the junk wax cards. Uh, oh, I think the late 80s were still junk wax. They might even actually just be older quality cards. Gore is very active in seeking members' input. There used to be quite a few junk wax cards and the members voted to have fewer and perhaps higher quality, but I'd forgotten that when I was speaking. It's a nice Sean Anderson rookie. Trevor May, Brendan Rogers rookie. I'm a rookie collector, and particularly the Topps variety, so this is turning out to be a good pack for me. Puig and Friends, Celebrate Long Ball, cool artwork, photography rather, Tanaka, All-Star Game, oh cool. And for people that collect different sets, oops, excuse me, there's an Ottavino, 150th stamped, gold stamped card. Robertson, ah, oh, 
There's a Vlad Guerrero. It's not a base rookie, but it is uh, does have the rookie card stamp of the Home Run Derby. Brendan Rodgers, same deal. It's a rookie debut, kind of a Gold Cup style card. Josh Bell, Home Run Derby. Nick Senzel, that is a base rookie. A lot of buzz about him. And then a Richie Martin base rookie. Next, we'll do the 2017 Don Russ. Looks like eight cards per pack. I'm not big on looking at the odds and what we might pull. I just like to rip into them and see what kind of cards we might get. Dozier, Minnesota. Nice Chris Sale. Now, this is Don Russ. They don't have the licensing, so there are no logos. But they usually pick photos where you kind of don't even notice that. Sterling Marte, he had a great year last year for the Yankees. DJ LeMahieu, this is the 2017, so he wasn't there. This is a... Oh, look at that. Out of 249. Alex Lang. Very nice. Frankie Lindor. Big Hurt. And last, we have a Harmon Killebrew. Very nice. Nice mixture of current players and some past players. Let's rip into 2017 Series 2. Haven't opened a tremendous amount of that. Series 1 has the Aaron Judge card that many folks are looking for. I do like opening different ones because there are more rookies than that, but the Chase card is definitely in Series 1, and I have even opened even less 2017 updates. So Colin McHugh, Chad Bettis, one of my personal favorites, part of my PC, Russell Martin, just a gamer, and he's been playing forever. Dodgers team card. Huh. This appears to be an insert with uh, perhaps some radio or TV personalities. A nice throwback card of Jimmy Fox, all time all stars. Here's a rookie Cotton. J.A. Happ. 2018, so roughly mid-year, Jose Iglesias, Devon Travis. Nothing huge in there, but it is nice to open a different variety. Big League is sometimes considered uh, a series for newer collectors that just want to see big names, and sometimes for kids. I have seen some really interesting stuff pulled out of here. Danny Jansen uh, is a rookie card. Symbols all the way at the bottom. Eh, big, pretty big name, Josh Hader. It's a award winners. Jose Martinez, the Cardinals. Scott Shebler, Reds. Oh, here's a nicknamed card. Nick, is that Castellanos? Yeah. He did start going by Nicholas once he hit the Cubs, or maybe I just noticed it when he was traded to the Cubs. Got another rookie card, Tuki Toussaint. There's a big name from the World Series champs, Trey Turner. Shohei Otani. Andrew Kashner. There's a lot of buzz about him. I think he's had some injury problems, but he keeps chugging along. Here we have a nice Chris Sale. That's it for that big league pack. The last of the modern cards, Topps Chrome. There are fewer cards, and if you've never seen them, they're a little bit thicker. Uh, I do like Topps. There's just a better chance of pulling uh, some of the big name autos. They are pretty much considered the base, I believe. 
There's a lot of reflecting going on, sir. Josh Bell. There's a Matt Chapman All-Star Game. Gore is a big A's fan. There's a guy with a cool name, Shane Bieber. And our last card is a Chrome version of Greatest Moments, Ted Williams. Well, let's dig into the older packs. Uh, I don't know if they're considered junk wax. I'm not a big collector of uh, non-modern cards, but I do enjoy opening packs. I was watching baseball and reading box scores during that period, so I know a lot of the names, but not a lot of the values. A sticker card of the Blue Jays. Pat Perry. Cardinals. Tom Brookins. Tigers, Ron Ooster, Reds, Max Venable, Reds, Bruce Benedict, oh, those Atlanta jerseys, I had forgotten about those, Milt Thompson, Phillies, Dan Quisenberry, there's a big name for a lot of years, another big name for a lot of years, Sid Fernandez, Clint Hurdle, I actually met Clint Hurdle when he was, uh, the manager of the Rockies. Oh, I want to see about 02. And a picture with him. Dale, whose name, last name I will not butcher. Andres Galarraga, longtime Rocky from my perspective when I was, remember him. Ernie Camacho. Floyd Yeomans. Expos. Fern Rule. Angels. Cliff Johnson. Of the Blue Jays. I think the last one. Nope, a couple more. Greg Brock, the Dodgers. Jesse Barfield. Pat Perry. I might have said his name twice. Not a lot of big names, but fun to see a different style card. And our last one is from 1986. I'm not going to chew that. Uh, Ancient gum. Let's get the cards going the same direction here. Spring Fever baseball advertisement. Oh, there's a big name, Steve Carlton. Huh. Cards are going every which way. Got a White Sox leaders card. That's pretty cool. They don't really use that style anymore. Not that I've seen the last, uh, I've opened mostly 19, some 18, some 17. Eddie Whitson, I haven't seen this card design before. Pretty cool. Different font, Brad Kaminsk. Mike Davis A's. Jeff Dedman, Braves. Dave Dravecki, Padres, heard the name. We'll admit I'm not familiar with him or his career. Oh, another leader's card. Tigers. Rupert Jones. Gene Nelson. White Sox. Alex Trevino. Giants. Record breaker, 1985. Ah, oh, Fernando Valenzuela. Very nice. Consecutive innings, start of a season, no earned runs. Very cool. Billy Sample of the Yankees. Oh, Ken Griffey Sr. Yankee card. Ooh, Buddy Bianca Lana of the Royals. And not too many big names, but again, nice to see, and I forgot that I said I would open this bonus pack that I got. I believe a Patreon member just donated that to folks that uh, participated in an auction or, or added it on to a break. Not certain either way. I'm a big fan of Bowman, so let's crack into it. Cedric Mullins, rookie card. Jonathan Loisega, rookie card. Inil De Los Santos, rookie card. Nice rookie run. Zach Grinke, before he was traded to the Astros, 
He's had a nice career. Eugenio Suarez, Reds. Here's our Bowman Chrome. More John. Logan Allen, Padres, not familiar with him. Oh, here's a big name in Bowman Chrome style. Casey Mines. Whitley here, Forrest Whitley. We didn't get any first Bowman. Or uh, there's another variation here too. So we got quite a few rookies. Some of these packs are even pre-rookie. This last one here is Peter Lambert. So just a short video to open my Gourmet subscription box. The rest of these, uh, just for shipping space, were, uh, I believe, were just from auctions and such, uh, different openings, uh, and, and my Patreon stuff got put in with that for convenience sake. Just double checking. Yes, that is indeed what happened. So, thank you everyone for watching, and good night.